Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you a little bit information about uh, viewing your Google searches. So taking uh, a list, viewing on the browser, and exporting uh, and enabling and disabling the Google searches. So uh, most people, of course, they use Google, at least in the US, uh, for searching. And it's a really nice feature to actually see what you've searched for, look in the past, um, just, just for fun or for work-wise or um, you know, just kind of understand a little bit better what you're searching, how you're searching, and uh, use it for, for different purposes. Um, so basically, if you go to history.google.com, um, you'll be able to see all of your settings. And if you do have it disabled and you do want to enable Google to show you which uh, searches you've done, um, you'll go again to history.google.com, uh, go to the top, and then click on settings right here. Um, and so what it'll basically do is take you to the activity controls page um, and you'll be able to see kind of an on and off toggle right here. Um, and uh, if you click on show more controls, you can see if you want to turn on a saving your search terms for regular browsing, uh, locations, uh, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, all of these things, right? Um, so if you do want to turn it on, you can. Uh, obviously, if you turn it off, Google still uh, you know, has your your information and your searches in order to, um, you know, do their research and of course improve your your uh, your searches. Um, but I like to keep it on and kind of look at it every now and then um, and kind of just check it out what I've been doing. So if you want to toggle it on or off, just click here. Very simple. Uh, you'll turn it off and uh, just read the disclaimer, of course, right? Um, so that's kind of the on or off. Very simple. So. Now, if you've actually uh, do want to download it, you're going to go back to the history.google.com and uh, basically go. You can view here. Um, you can delete, a, you know, a specific day or a specific search if you want to delete them. Just click here and then click on here, delete at the end. Um, if you want to delete all of them, you're going to click here on this menu icon. Click on delete options and uh, either today, yesterday, or if you click on advanced, you'll have an option for all time. Um, pretty simple. Now, if you do want to export, you click again in this menu and click on download searches. Uh, once you do that, you're going to receive an email when it's finished completing. And um, you're going to see the email. You can click on Google Drive, download it to your computer. Now, uh, the format itself is uh, actually uh, in a, uh, there's a folder here inside the zip which you'll download, and they're actually JSON files. So they're very specific formatted uh, data which you probably won't be able to open. In your regular browser. So what you can do is um, try to uh, just go online, Google, and uh, search for a JSON to CSV or JSON to Excel, um, a converter, and they actually convert it. So um, basically, I just found this specific one. This is nothing. I'm not affiliated with this in any way, but just JSON CSV.com, um, and I took a file itself. I just opened it with a Notepad. And I took all of that data and I just pasted it in. Okay, so let's actually take this as an example. Open. Uh, I'm just going to open this, copy the whole thing. It's just kind of formatted code, like XML file, basically, or sorry, JSON file, of course. Um, so now, if you copy, copy and paste it, now you'll be able to see the timestamp when you actually did that, uh, and actually the searches. I searched for this, and in Chinese, and in English, and uh, you know, glasses and just all of my terms here, uh, pretty simple. So I can see all of this for the months uh, specified here, January to March, April to et cetera, et cetera. Um, the only thing I need to add is, of course, because this is your search data, um, you you want to be careful uh, if you don't if you uh, care about privacy uh, to use you know submit this information or convert this JSON to a CSV with any kind of online tool. So do your research, figure out. You know which tool you want to convert it, or if you have a better uh, option to do that. If you uh, are scared of your your own searches going, you know somewhere uh, or being used for whatever reason, um, and that's it. They're pretty simple. Um, you can see all the searches. Very interesting, and that's it. Hope uh, this makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the video. Thanks.